Assalamu alaikum. Uh, brothers, uh, today we bring you a very uh, important interview with one of our Ahmadi brothers who recently uh, had a severe persecution in Pakistan and uh, he is now with us, uh, Alhamdulillah, in the UK and he and his family is in safe hands now, Alhamdulillah. So uh, let's take you straight into the interview and ask uh, uh, his, well, the story uh, from, from uh, Brother uh, Dr. Shah, Shah Muhammad Javed Sahib. So uh, Dr. Sahib, if you can just uh, briefly introduce yourself, uh, who you are, where you're from, and uh, what actually happened with you in Pakistan. Jazakumullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, my name is Dr. Shah Muhammad Javed, and I belong to Kotli Azad Kashmir. And I was uh, the president of the Kotli Jamaat and the deputy Amir, regional Amir of the district Kotli. And before that, I was the I remained the regional Amir for the ten years. And uh, Nazam Ansarullah. At the same time, as I was working in the government hospital as the district consultant surgeon, and uh, also running one of my uh, my private hospital with the name of Shah Muhammad Hospital, and uh, I was kidnapped uh, on 29th October 2011 along with my youngest son Fahad Javed, who is with me, and. Uh, it was, uh, the group was from the Taliban who kidnapped me and took me to first to the Mirpur and then they brought me to the Dina and from there onward they shifted me to the near East uh, Miran Shah near the Afga border of Afghanistan. Jazakallah uh, Dr. Saab for the introduction uh, and, uh, and as, as you told that you had uh, had a kidnapped incident um, and I can imagine that it can be a quite horrible thing to happen while your son with, is he's with you as well. Uh, so can you just tell a bit more about uh, why they kidnapped you and uh, what was the reason behind this, this kidnapping? Uh, the reason of kidnapping is very clear that uh, when I was uh, made to reach there near the, the destination and I had to travel uh, two nights and one day in an ironic box uh, which was placed uh, in a truck which was already prepared and then afterwards through, through the motorbikes when I reached there and uh, my eyes was closed and, uh, and the Amir of the Taliban came and the first and the foremost thing which he, he proclaimed that look doctor you had been kidnapped only because, because of your religion. We know many people who are billionaires in Mirpur and Kotli and we haven't touched them even and we have kidnapped you on the basis of your religion and uh, you are Vajibul Katal and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sort of ticket of, of the heaven for us if, you, uh, if we murder you and at the same time your money is halal for us and that's why we have kidnapped you. And then he uh, uh, demanded the ransom of approximately 6.5 million pounds uh, to pay within five days. And uh, on the fifth day after kidnapping, I was uh, made to have a contact with my family at Courtley. And then I, I had to told, uh, tell them about the ransom, the amount of the ransom. Exactly. Uh, Dr. Sir, um that's, that's uh, very clear that they kidnapped you on the, solely on the basis of that you uh, being an Ahmadi in, in, in Kotli Azad Kashmir. And, and uh, this is the thing we always hear that uh, the, the mullahs of Pakistan are, are having this hatred against Ahmadiyat. But uh, it's, it's, it's very, uh, very disappointing to see that has happened to one of our closest brother and uh, whatever the things we've been hearing here in UK, uh, they turn out to be quite true and, and very horrible at the same time. Uh, can you just uh, tell us uh, what actually they did to you, how they behaved with you 
Did they beat you? Did they keep you in a good condition? Or what sort of behavior they were having with you? And how long they kept you in the captivity? Uh, I remained in their captivity for a period of four months. And out of these four months, uh, two, and a half, two and a half months, we, uh, we both, uh, father and my this, uh, son was together. And for one and a half month, he was kept uh, away from me. And uh, the, in, the, in two stages, he was kept away. And uh, we were uh, treated very badly there. And we, they used to harass every day, three, four times in a day. And uh, then afterwards, on the alternate days, and the Amir used to come, he used to uh, order his, uh, uh, his uh, Mujahideen uh, that uh, you should close their eyes. And uh, uh, they completely refused to give me, to hand over the Holy Quran to me. Uh, however, they didn't forbid me from offering the prayers. However, they were saying that, why do you uh, 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 remain uh, in, the, in these uh, sajdas for, for a long time? And, uh, and they were at the same time, when, whenever he used to come, he used to abuse the Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, and he, he used to become uh, very uh, irritant, and uh, he used to say that I cannot even listen his name. And this was the state of his, uh, uh, his uh, enmity and the rivalry. And uh, we were, our uh, anchors were chained there. We were placed uh, in, a, in, a, in a room of mud and uh, there was only one door, there was no window. And the door uh, used to be kept uh, all the time uh, closed and locked from outside. And uh, after the two months, uh, they started physical assault and the uh, physical torture, which was very severe. So much so that uh, three of my uh, ribs on the right sides uh, got fractured and uh, uh, they whipped me uh, to such an extent that uh, the, my, back, my back was uh, about to ooze the blood from it. Uh, it was near uh, oozing and uh, uh, <clears throat> almost uh, with, a, with a gap of two weeks, uh, they had been making contacts uh, uh, and, uh, and sometimes uh, more frequently and approximately 25 times they had the contact uh, with my family uh, to increase, uh, to, uh, to be quick in arranging the ransom and, uh, and all that pressure. and their uh, Put the pressure. Uh, yes, they had been pressurized with different techniques and methods. Initially, they said they, uh, they asked for the email address of my uh, other son so that we can send the uh, video of uh, the after killing uh, your young son. We will kill him, murder him, and we will send the video to, the, to your family. And this is what which they told uh, to my uh, family on the telephone repeatedly. And uh, sometimes they said we will uh, sail them out and sometimes they say, we said okay, we will kill one of them and like that. <clears throat> now that's very clearly that they were driven by the hatred of Ahmadiyya and uh, they were obviously brutally, uh, brutally obviously ab abusing you physically and mentally torturing you as well. Uh, and you mentioned in, 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 the, in the previous question that your son was kept away from you for a month. More than a month. More than a month. Yeah. Do you know where he was kept and what was your feeling during that time? Uh, the feeling was very much uh, harassing and embarrassing for me. Uh, the moment he was uh, detached from me, uh, he, uh, though he remained by the grace of Almighty confident, but I was very much worried about and I didn't know it was the evening time uh, after the sunset when uh, suddenly one of the Taliban came and he said, hey, Fahad, get up, we are taking you somewhere else. And uh, he was kept though uh, in the same village, but I was told that he is too far from here and he at the same time was told that your father is uh, about uh, eight hours drive away from you and he is too far and this is what which, which, uh, we were told. And in the, in the second uh, phase of detachment, he was kept on the 
second room uh, just beside my room but uh, uh, it was said that uh, they can't neither can see each other nor talk to each other and uh, he was kept in his room isol in isolation Dr. Sir, can you tell us uh, what was the age of Fahad when this kidnap incident happened? He was uh, approximately 12 years old when he was kidnapped, less than 12 years rather. Now, just just uh, 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 quite uh, 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 just a thiffle age, uh, mm, I would yeah, say, yeah. and uh, I'm, I must, uh, I, I can understand uh, what sort of torment he must have gone through. Uh, Doctor Sir, in this in, in this four months incident, um, how you managed to keep the strength alive, and what what was the things which were keeping your faith alive, and and keep your spirits high? Yeah, thank you. Uh, with the grace of Almighty, from the from the very first day, I was uh, I remained hopeful. And though they were harassing and they were time and again saying that we will shoot you and uh, they had been shooting different people uh, during my captivity and at one day uh, they shot the 14 soldiers including the officers of the Pakistan army and uh, uh, they, they were very much furious and uh, but uh, it was uh, the blessing of the God Almighty and strong belief upon him that uh, I, I never ever became hopeless and it was the third week when I had a very beautiful, I would say, a sort of revelation from the God Almighty. It was the last verse of the Surah Teen, uh, which uh, after the morning prayer uh, I had on my, on my uh, lips, Alay Sallahu Bi Ahkam Al Hakimin. And after three, four days, there was another sort of revelation and that Tabarakta Rabbana Yazul Jalal Al Ikram. And then this, uh, this continued and uh, so much so that I uh, approximately 25 verses and the prayers of the uh, mentioned in the Holy Quran were either in the, in the dreams or on my, on my lips in the, when I was uh, not uh, in deep sleep and just uh, light sleep. Can you tell us the, the translation of, uh, for the viewers? Yeah. What was the translation of the Surah uh, the, uh, the last verse, uh, the translation is Alayhi Sallahu Bi Ahkamil Hakimim Don't you think, don't you believe that it is the God Almighty who is the Supreme Commander and uh, He is the Supreme Judge and uh, His order uh, uh, has the command. And in the second verse, uh, again there is uh, that there are many blessings from the God Almighty and uh, he has got uh, he has got the glory uh, of his uh, of his blessings. Oh, mashallah. So uh, I mean, you obviously uh, Allah revealed these things to you, and you had good dreams as well. Any other dreams you or Fahad had during this period? Uh, actually, I had uh, many dreams, and uh, I would say innumerable and very good dreams and very inspiring and uh, which uh, some of them I remember and one was that I, I saw Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih Sani in dream he came to the courtly and he delivered a lecture to the people of the courtly and in another dream uh, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih Khamis uh, came to the courtly and uh, <coughs> Fahad saw again very good dreams and uh, some revelations as well and uh, he was lucky enough to to you know, visualize the Hazrat uh, Masih Maud in, in his dreams and so much so that he had uh, the uh, this chance of uh, uh, seeing the Hazrat Azul um, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his dream and uh, they were very uh, they were surprised to know the mujahideen that uh, such a small son has got this type of dreams and revelations and uh, the dreams <coughs> which he saw uh, were uh, about the about the uh, the end of those uh, taliban and uh, there were two uh, these drone attacks uh, just according to uh, whatever uh, which he saw in his dreams 
and exactly according to that the drones attack occurred and the dozens of them were uh, murdered in, the, in those drones attacks. Uh, just moving on to it, uh, what was your family situation because obviously you were away and they in the, in the first five days they were, they were not known where you are and, and your whereabouts. Uh, and obviously your family has gone through a lot of uh, traumatic incident. What was your family uh, feelings during these four, four months and how your family cope with the, uh, these kidnappers' demands? As regards the, the gravity of the incidents, the family was very much worried in the first uh, five days. I asked my, uh, my wife that uh, what were your expectations, she uh, by the grace of God Almighty said, though they didn't know anything about us in the very in the first days, but she was hopeful at the same time. And afterwards you can, uh, I think it's very difficult to describe the, their feelings and the situation in words. It was very, very horrifying, but at the same time they remained hopeful. And she and my other, many other family members had you know, very good dreams and uh, which they had been revealing afterwards and those are uh, i would say innumerable and those were all very uh, um, uh, blessings of blessed sorts of dreams and uh, when the taliban said uh, uh, in the last one month that uh, they will keep fahad with them and they will send me back to home after receiving a ransom of uh, about uh, 10 million which was arranged by my family and by the grace of God Almighty, my wife uh, very courageously, she uh, told them that uh, she would not pay even a penny to, to them for one person. You have kidnapped both of them and you will have to send back both of them and only then I will pay. And they were pressurizing her that uh, we will kill, uh, uh, murder any one of them and you will, you will request us time and again for getting the dead body of one and we will charge this much amount even for the dead body, what are you talking about? But, uh, and so much so they said, okay, uh, they said that uh, uh, we may just fire and uh, you can hear the, uh, the voice of the fire and we, we will murder uh, your husband and uh, even then she said, okay, I am very much hopeful, I am very much sure that my God will help me and uh, he will uh, save both of them and uh, I will not uh, have any term, uh, talk with you, any more talk. If you want to uh, release them, it's okay, otherwise don't tease me time and again, don't pressurize me. And there was, there was surprise to know to have this type of uh, response from a, from a lady. And this is all due to the blessings of the God Almighty. No, mashallah. Uh, obviously, uh the legend of the household, of your household, uh, kept their faith and their courage as well at the same time. Uh, Jazakallah. Uh, how the whole incident came to an end and uh, uh, the, the, the listeners and the audience wants to know how you managed to, either you managed to escape or they released you and how it came to an end, this whole ordeal. Uh, as I said, the demand was uh, of uh, uh, if you convert uh, if them in the Pakistani rupees, it was 90 crores and uh, they demanded this much amount and uh, till the end, uh, my family was only able to arrange 1 crore and it was the 190th of the demand and uh, last day, they again attempted to agree my wife to release me and uh, keep the fight with them when she flatly refused and uh, then the, the uh, chief of the Taliban who is called as the Amir, he uh, asked, ordered them to take the, the vehicle to another place and uh, one thing that they used to uh, arrange the telephonic contact from a very far off area near the Afghan border and uh, they used to say that only the, uh, the signals are positive are available only here at this site. <coughs> and uh, uh, when, they, when they moved the vehicle, that car, to another place, and there they, the Amir said to me uh, straight away that we have, Dr. Look, we have decided about you. 
that we are going to murder you uh, just now. And he asked the, the Taliban who were accompanying him, the two, two persons, that uh, you should uh, throw his dead body at that place and arrange a vehicle, arrange a car for throwing the dead body. And at this uh, critical moment, uh, Fahad was crying and he requested him in the name of God that uh, you please don't uh, murder my father and don't leave me in this condition. And he uh, flatly said that uh, we are doing all that for the, for, the, uh, for the sake of God because he had ordered us to kill the, the infidels and the kafirs like you and you, you are Wajibul Qatl. So that's why we are going to do this. Having said this, all of, all of the three, uh, they went out of the uh, car and we both were inside at that time and uh, my, my and his eyes were covered and uh, uh, at that time I uh, prayed to the God Almighty that oh the, uh, the true God of the Masih Mahmud salam please come, please descend with your angels for the decision, this is the time of decision, this is what which came in my, in my mind. And after two, three minutes, they came uh, in the court and the uh, decision was changed of murdering me. And at that time, he, uh, he jumped down from 90 crore to 10 crore, and then five, and then two, and then at the end, he said, well, if not, then I, when I said, okay, we can't make any more arrangement. This, this is out of our reach. And then he said, okay, yeah. um, to, uh, they again contacted my family and ask them to bring that ransom of one crore to them after two days. And then the, that was the day of the decision of our release. And after the five days of that decision, we were released and we safely raised home after paying that amount, which they were, he was never agreed to uh, receive this small amount. Bizarrullah. Um, two minutes. As you said in the, as Allah revealed to you that uh, it was Allah's decision which yes. will, and, and the Allah's order, which will uh, take the precedent and not the, the people uh, who were, who were uh, your captives. And at the end, obviously, Allah made decision in, in, in your favor. Jazakallah. Uh, just a just few things on, on top of that. Did you have any communication uh, with Hazur after your release or before you came to UK? Yeah. Uh, very kindly. Uh, Huzur contacted uh, uh, on telephone with my wife twice before my release and after my release he again very kindly uh, phoned me and uh, uh, satisfied me and paid uh, some sentences of satisfaction and he uh, uh, said prayers for me and all that and afterwards we came to the here and we saw him in person. Exactly. Uh, Dr. Zab, do you have any message for uh, our uh, youth in UK or youth in general, uh, especially the MD youth? The message I would say is uh, to, to become closer to the, our Creator, the God Almighty, uh, with their uh, uh, prayers, regular prayers according to the advice, advice of uh, Huzur Ayyadaullah Ta'ala and uh, listen to his uh, sermons and advices and try their level best to follow them. And that is, uh, I would say, the only, only way in the path which can lead us to the, to the player of the God Almighty. Jazakallah Dr. Sahib and Jazakallah for uh, sharing your experience with us. Thank you. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.